And for this matchup in the Absco Sheds Elite Boxing Championship, we're in the 63 kilo division for the men. This fighter fights out of the Gold Coast PCY in Queensland, where he's trained by J2, proudly sponsored by iClean Solutions. Please welcome our red corner, Lightning Luke Henry. Blue Corner is sponsored by Harbour City Harley Davidson. Training under Mick Daly, he fights out of the Gladstone Amateur Boxing Club in Queensland. Please welcome Reese the Big E Evans. So semi-final time in the men's 63 kilogram division of the Absco Sheds Elite Boxing Championship. Lightning Luke Henry taking on Reese the Big E Evans. Evans defeating Isaiah Carter in the opening round. Lost to Michael Black round one. in round three. Lightning Luke Henry defeating Luke Martin in the quarterfinal to book his place in the semi, who Martin's actually in the opposition corner tonight. So Certainly know what his opponent's about then. Henry, a Gold Coast fighter, has strong support tonight. Evans, though, landing some good shots early. Settled nicely into this fight in the opening seconds. Watch heads, boys. Watch heads. This far into the competition as well, uh, you know, all fighters know what they got in front of them by that last one, but, uh, you know, they would have seen their opponent enough now, know the, oh, good shot from Evans, uh, but they'd know the pros and cons of what they got in front of them, and it's up to them then to go out and do the job. So Evans doing the job here in the opening round on Henry, showing his confidence, landing some nice shots early. He's a fighter that seems to have looked better and better as he's gone on in this competition. Big test tonight, though, in Evans, who is so experienced. Yeah, very experienced boy, been around a long time. Reese Evans, as his brother Sean, who's working his corner. Good to see. Uh, Luke Henry got his hands nice and high, or a little bit low as I say that, but probably lacked a little bit um, these days, or does lack a little bit defence. There's a lot of wild stuff and hands low and tricks and feints. And, but it's just good to see. Uh, it's refreshing to see a nice tight defence in a fighter. There's Evans just getting one through again on Henry. Henry switches over to Southpaw. Well, to the body of Evans, but Evans comes back again. It's a good combination. Corner like that. Just having the edge at the moment in this one. You can see the elbows up nice and high from Henry, and that's where Evans got to take control of that. Start his work up top. And uh, Henry will defend that, and then he can dig, those, dig in underneath those elbows, dig the body away of Henry. Oh, nice right hand from Evans. Yeah, Henry wore it well, but certainly got him flush. So, Telling it. A lot of our opening round, that punch, and can be the difference. It has been pretty comfortable so far, though, for Reese to Biggie Evans. He looks pretty happy as he goes to his corner. How yeah, do you see that opening round? Yeah, pretty tight. Uh, probably the difference. Reese Evans, a few, maybe two or three shots were very clean. Uh, but, you know, Luke uh, Henry, good defence most of the time and got good combinations. A tight one to, to go, but I'll probably lean over toward the blue corner. Yeah, Henry, of course, lost in the opening round to Colin Caleb. And then went on to defeat a Trent Williams in the repper charge. Luke Martin in the quarterfinal, as we mentioned. Seems to be gaining confidence as he progresses through the Absco Sheds Elite Boxing Championship. Well and truly in this contest at the end of the opening round. Seconds down. Colin Caleb unavailable. 
in this phase of the competition, so it has opened up this division. Round two. These two fighting for the first place in our final in the men's 63 kilogram oh, division. That that's hurt. a big shot. Uppercut left hook from, from Evans. Evans. Henry had just scored himself, and it's a fair way to reply. Yeah, Evans got a jump on him. He definitely hurt Henry there. Look for the same combo. There it is again, the left hook finishing. And certainly finding its mark here in the opening stages of the second round. Oh, there again. Evans finishing with that left hook, throwing out a different combination there, the one-two, finishing with the left hook, scored again, as did the uppercut left hook. It's on the mark tonight as he puts the punches together again. Does Evans. And scores well upstairs, just beating Henry to the punch. So this is where Henry needs to use his feet. As Evans starts his work, Henry needs to move away. At the moment, he's staying still. Whilst his defence is up, he's having a look around the second or third punch, and that's how he's getting caught. If he sees Evans start attack, just move. Put Evans off his distance. Henry did score well to the body on a couple of occasions, but Evans came straight back. And again, that right hand just slipping through. Second round of our semi-final. It's getting a little bit scrappy okay. all of a sudden. Just a warning to Reese Evans. That's the fighter though, looking quite comfortable since our opening belt. He's experienced, not overawed by this stage. Semi-final. Oh, that shot landed, though, from Henry. Yeah, good shot from Henry. See, when Evans puts his, co his combinations together, his two, threes and fours, that's where he catches out Luke Henry. He just needs to do it. And in the meantime, movement like that, use the jab. And when Henry stays still like about now, put the combinations together. There it is, there. Nice shot from Henry. Again, Henry finding the mark, but Evans just coming back, as you said, putting those punches together in number. Closing stages of our second round. Henry on the attack. Fight starting to come to the ball nicely. Another warning to Evans. You have to watch that. Final seconds of our second round. Oh, Henry got one through, two. Evans firing back, they trade to the bell. It up, boys. There it is. And the second Go round came to life in the closing stages. And this fight is up for grabs. We are harping on it, but this is a tough night for the judges and putting your judges hat on, how'd you see the second? Yeah, that one I'll probably lean towards uh, Evans a bit more comfortably, even though uh, Henry put a great effort in. Uh, but those clean shots, were the difference. Uh, just when uh, Evans puts his punches together in the combinations, he usually finishes with a scoring shot. So that's probably the difference in that round. Yeah, Evans looking pretty comfortable in his corner, but there you see Lightning Luke Henry. What would the advice be to try and turn the tide in this third and final round? Well, he's, he's defending quite well, um, but it's, it's when Evans puts the punches together that Henry pops up and has a look, and that's how he gets caught. So maybe try to use his feet a little bit more, and then once he makes him miss, jump on him with his Second own down. set of combinations. But at the end of the day, he needs a big round. He'll have to try to put Evans under a lot of pressure as well. Third and final round. So third and final round for a place in the final. The men's 63 kilogram division. There is no tomorrow. Tomorrow our loser tonight. Three minutes. Okay. Shape their destiny. Nice work from Henry. Yes, yeah, a better start to the round from Henry. Maybe even a second attack from uh, Henry. You can see, I think we spoke about last time uh, in the prelims. Evans, every time he finishes a combination, he plays with those gloves. So as he starts his first attack and pops back out, Henry jumps straight back in and try and score some shots on uh, Evans while he's playing with his gloves. Henry just 
land of the left hand on Evans and just looking at the face of Evans, he is marked under that left eye. Can you see that cheek? Come here, come here, come here. Don't do it, okay? No more. Stay back. Stay back. Oh, big shots landed. Both guys having some some success, but probably Evans the better there. His right hand certainly shook up. Lightning Luke Henry. Third and final round, of course, elimination for our loser. So defense out the window. He's starting to let the hands go. Okay. Warning to Evans, you'll have to watch that. Nice work again on the inside, though, from Evans. Oh, as I say that, he's caught with a left hand. Watch hands. Watch hands. Blow. Henry certainly having his moments. Yeah, much better round for Henry this round, whether it's fatigue from uh, Evans. No holding, boys. Work it out. Or Evans feeling comfortable he got the first two, but you can't do that in a competition like this. Don't do it. Oh. Warning to the red corner there for just holding the head, and Evans comes back with three punches, and they all found the mark. Now it's starting to find their voice in this one. They final know what's this up final, final, final seconds. Nice. In this all Queensland affair. Nice work again to the body from Henry. Evan sucking in the big ones. We've spoken about work rate can sometimes be the difference, and it's Henry the busier. Yeah, Henry, a great round this one for Henry. I've been called a couple of times, but certainly a much better round. So final seconds of this one for a place in the final. Hopeman just tying up, now letting them go. They fight to the bell as they come together, a sign of respect. Both should be proud of their effort. Lightning Luke Henry and Reese the Big E Evans, but unfortunately for one of them, it's going to be the end of the line. Only one can progress to our final in the men's 63 kilogram division. Let's send it centering and find out who's going through to our final. The winner of this match moving through to our finals at the Elite Boxing Championship, our blue corner, Reese Evans. So there is confirmation, Reese Evans through to the final in the men's 63 kilogram division of the Absco Sheds Elite Boxing Championship. He will await the winner of our second semi semi final, fighting Braden Fenwick and Michael Boom Boom Black. Well, Black defeated him in the quarterfinals. So a potential grudge match there. Let's hear from our winner, though. He's at the Absco Sheds So Tough Too Easy interview shed where he's talking to Richie Rolls.